right now, and that's the microphone, Glenn Murphy Jr. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'd like to start by thanking each and every one of you for making the trip up here to Tanglewood Mountain celebrate the love of these two. <laughs> I realize that COVID-19 has made our lives a little crazier, but the fact that all of you are here today is remarkable. So on behalf of the bride, the groom, the entire wedding party, thanks so much. It means so much. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Glenn Murphy Jr. I'm the son of the groom. And I get to work alongside this man every day. In fact, this is my first time being best man. And I'm truly honored to be part of such a beautiful day. You know, traditionally, the best man speech is supposed to involve some embarrassing things about the groom's past. <laughs> Bring up some of the crazy things we've done together, some of the crazy memories we made. How shiny his head is today. <laughs> Sorry about the glare. But have any of you embarrassed your own boss in front of his family? <laughs> so it's in my best interest to preserve my salary and my paid vacation. <laughs> we're we're going to cut out the embarrassment. <laughs> so I've known this man 26 years. 26 fantastic years. Actually, the day I was born, he was at the hospital. <laughs> and that's special. And it's special because I was born two days before the annual tax filing. <laughs> it's true, he was there. Looking back, he was always there. He was there at every baseball, football, basketball game I played, no matter how bad I was. <laughs> he was in the crowd cheering me on when I was playing drums and bands that were not too good. <laughs> you know, he was there whenever I needed advice, whenever I needed a listening ear, as long as it's his right and not his left, because his left is pretty bad. <laughs> Seriously, though, I consider my father my best friend, a friend for life. Sure, he's my dad, but I never met anyone as loving and caring as him. Yeah, I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot, like, about wisdom and perseverance. You know, the typical uh, hard work pays off sort of thing, but that's too much to cover in one speech. But there's one thing that always stood out to me, and that was his passion. And he loves traveling. <laughs> These two have been on so many trips together, I'm sure you've seen it. And he always told me if I had a passion for something, I might as well pursue it. And as it would turn out, he and I both share that passion for travel. We're people that believe it's not about the destination, but it's about the journey. It's about the experiences along the way. It's about the hiccups and how you find your way around it. For Lucia, it's, it's about accidentally, accidentally drinking sheep's milk and your breakfast and you're going to spend the rest of the day in a hospital in Nepal. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad one. <laughs> but the best part about all their experiences, they're living the best one right now. This is the journey of love journey that you guys have been sailing, flying, and walking on for a long time now. It's what it means, loving your significant other. This is what marriage is about. You love each other unconditionally. You do anything for one another. And you're always at each other's side no matter what. No matter where you two end up at the end of the day, you'll always have each other, and that's worthy of some serious celebration. And now that I'm done with all the sappy stuff, we get onto the real topic of the night, the bride. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I got the rest of my life to embarrass Lucia. I'll collect on that debt, <laughs> Actually, my dad's favorite phrase is, there's no time like the present. So here we go. <laughs> Anyone who knows Lucia loves how much she loves Facebook. <laughs> and to be quite honest with you, 
I'm surprised she's not sitting up here with Mark Zuckerberg today. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he made the shit list because he banned you another time. <laughs> no, she is, she's great. She's great. She's the only woman I know that could spend two minutes on the phone with a customer service representative <laughs> and leave with a full refund, a replacement on the way, and two gift cards for your trouble. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful does she look today? She looks stunning. <laughs> I really enjoyed getting to know you the last few years. Seriously, one of the one of the things I love about what she is that she has a contagious smile. She has a smile that can light up the room anywhere she goes. She brings the fun into every situation. And she always lets you know that life doesn't have to be that serious. What do I love most about Lucia is that she never gives up no matter how tough things get. I'm so happy you're part of this family, and I'm so grateful to be part of yours. Coming together like this is something I wanted to see for a long time. And we're here for one reason, and that's to celebrate you. Unity of tradition, the unity of two huge families. But most of all, we're here to celebrate the unity of two fantastic people. The Brown guys, the most important people in your lives are here today. And they're here cheering you on just like I did for so long. I can speak on behalf of everyone in this room when I say, wish you the happiest, brightest, and most prosperous future. So everyone, please raise a glass. We wish you an eternity of happiness, love, and passion. Ever, never dies. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Murphy, everybody.